Hey guys, Kyle McGlone here, design engineer at Z1 Motorsports, and today we're going to talk about the newest cooling product we have, the Z1 Front Brake Cooling Kit. So with that, let's get behind the design. During extended periods of high performance driving, brakes generate a lot of heat. This can lead to pad fade, brake fluid boiling, and ultimately dangerous driving conditions. The solution to this is to pump cold air, or a fresh supply of air, into the back of the rotors. This extends pad life, gives you firmer pedal feel, and decreases brake fade, ultimately for a safer drive. As a driver, this means you can brake later into corners with confidence that your brakes will still be there. Most people's brake ducting solution is a very DIY approach to hack something together with ducting, cut up dust shields, welding of tube on, and lots of zip ties to get air to the back of the rotors. We're no different. We did the same on our VR car on the track, and while it worked, it wasn't the prettiest, it took lots of time, and it was not very repeatable on our other vehicles. To alleviate this problem, we've engineered our new brake cooling kit. So let's get into it and go over the, the actual design of this product. While we've taken a lot of the guesswork out of this, it is still a DIY friendly kit. With the variation of bumpers available for these models, we do not include any bumper ducts at this time. However, you can use NACA ducts, plumb it to your front bumper yourself. Uh, there's a handful of ways to do it. From there, the air is funneled into our two and a half inch reinforced silicone ducting. This stuff is has to run through your engine bay, down suspension components, around your radiator. It's reinforced, so you won't crush it with tight bends, but it's flexible enough to run along the suspension components, around motor mounts. It's up to the task in, as far as heat next to your radiator. Stuff's good to go. All right, now, my favorite part of the kit is the backing plates. They're precision fit to fit right behind your front wheel bearing in place of the factory dust shield. Uh, just basically remove the front wheel bearing, bolt this in its place. Uh, the hose clamps on the back here and directs air to the center of the rotor where it can be effectively funneled out the veins in the rotor for the most efficient cooling. To better explain this, let me show you how this works. All right. Okay, so you can see the air is deflected into the center of the rotor. Uh, the backing plate is this size to act to effectively seal off the back of the rotor, meaning the air has to be pumped out through the veins for the most efficient cooling possible. And the fun little bonus, you get this cute little flap here to deflect heat away from your lower ball joint. That's it for this episode of Behind the Design. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below letting us know which products you'd like to see next. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.